So I've sort of saved the best for last. This is the eighth video in the Create Course School G101 that I've been making here with YouTube videos. And it is the most important. Updates are what my students have said that they've appreciated the most. A lot of students, this is what alerts to their phone and it lets them know the most important things that are happening in the course or sometimes the most important first things that are happening in the course. So what I plan to do with this video is make an update that's like a welcome video to my course. Other times it might symbolize like a really important test coming up or something else that's due, maybe a big project. So I try not to use updates too often. I try to save it for the most important uh, big items that I have in my course. So here we go. So I'm going to show you how to use the video and audio to make a welcome message, but you can also have an update that's just the same stuff as before, links and files and just text. Okay, so what I'm going to do though is make a video with the Schoology uh, app that they have in there. So here we go. So you want to get to your Schoology course and you want to go to updates. And in the updates, you have a couple choices. Again, file, link, you can get something from the resources. I'm going to cover that in a separate video. This is the one I'm going to focus on right now. You could run a poll. I'm going to add that to my interacting with students uh, section. And then you can also copy it to another course. But again, I link all my same courses together so I don't have to worry about that. All right, so here we go. So the first thing is there's this little bubble. It's not a comment. It's like the same thing, but not. It is the alert, and you want the little bell to be checked so that it pops up at the top of the screen. I'll show you that in just a second. So you may want to say, like, welcome. I think I have my caps lock on. Nope. Um, welcome to Schoology 101. Um, I hope we have fun and, whoops, I can't spell again, and learn a lot. Okay. Maybe not another exclamation point. So what I'm going to do then is I am going to make a video. So an audio video. And you'll see when I click on that, I'll show up. So here I am again. And what you want to do then is sit, start recording. And you can always record a couple times if you don't like it. I'm just going to keep the first one I've got. So I might say like, hey, welcome to Schoology 101. I hope we have a lot of fun. And more importantly, I hope we learn a lot and we become better growth mindset um, students and learners, something like that, okay? And you can see in the upper corner here, there's 14 seconds. I'm gonna stop recording. I'm gonna keep it even if I wouldn't keep it normally. I'm gonna hit play so you can see it. So I might say like, hey, welcome to Schoology 101. I hope we have a lot of fun and more important. And if you don't like it, you just could X out and start over again. They can, um, I'm gonna get a more flattering okay, picture. A lot. Okay, so then, and you can see the quality is what it is. And, we be and the students can make it larger. Um, so could you, and then you can also um, do picture in picture. I don't worry about any of that. I'm just going to say, let's insert it, let's go for it, and then I'm going to show you what happens when I post it. Now, it does take some time. You can see that the recording hasn't really showed up. If you were to click this right now, it would download it. So what I'm going to do first is give it some time. Let's go to show where it shows up right here. The video, for some reason, doesn't show up in the announcement, but it does when the students get the alert or when they see it. So let me see if it loaded. It didn't. What I'm going to do is just put another welcome message while I'm waiting for that to load. And that does happen. So I'm just going to put welcome. Good thing I have Grammarly on here. But this time I just do an audio recording, show you the difference. So welcome to Schoology 101. I'm glad that you're in this course. We're going to learn a lot and hopefully have some fun. So then you've got that you can play. So welcome to school. I'm just going to hit insert recording. And this time I'm actually going to not do the little bell. And so you should still see this one up at the top. If not, um, I you can go back and I can, uh, you can't, actually I don't think you can go back and fix this. So let me actually just hit this little bell just to show you that this one right here is going to go away now. So I'm going to post. And if I go back to materials too, you can see I'm racking up these sort of updates. And don't panic. You can always remove them if it's like an old one. I've done that with my students. And you still have it here. So again, there we go. There's that video recording. Again, students could comment, like. You may even say, hey, you have to comment on it. Maybe you say to students, hey, what's your favorite color? Something simple. And you make them all comment back. Something to get them to interact. For those of you that are 100% online, there's a lot of tips I would offer for you, um, unlike some of us that are hybrid. So I'm just going to hit play so you can see. 
That this is what they would have. So I might say like, hey, welcome. To All right. And um, you can always get rid of it. Like, let's say you're like, okay, that's horrible. You can always just delete it. And then I just kind of curious if I wait a little bit longer here, what happens with this other update? And there it is finally. It's just a little TV it just shows that it's just a, a audio recording. So there's no, you just have sound. So welcome to school. G all right. Now the other thing, of course, you can do is all kinds of other updates, but this would be kind of nice for your first day for your students to see, or even later on, let them know you're thinking about the whole class, uh, especially those of you that are 100% online. All right. So I hope that that helped you. Like I said, I wanted to save the best for last, which I really like the updates and my students have said that that, that is something that they really appreciate, that they know that the most important things are going to come right to their phone as a notification. I would recommend if you know your students are using that, you know, don't bombard them with, you know, updates all the time, but save it kind of for the most important items you have in your course. All right, good luck, teachers. I'm going to keep saying that. Um, keep up the good work. We're all in this together.